So a lot of guys ask me to um, do my quite often setup reviews we um, or I do to do it in English and um, yeah we'll do it. Um, I'm right now in uh, Budapest, Hungary and um, I'm here for Telecom Electronic Beats. Um, it's a um, smallish indoor festival and um, on this floor we have the Incubus and um, the room is quite small actually um, as you maybe could hear on my voice um, the acoustic dampening is, is quite nice in here um, like with most rooms it's more like a mid-high dampening um, with higher volumes then you can hear that the bass has some resonance frequencies but um, you can fight them quite easily um, yeah our original plan was to um, put the stacks on the sides where the um, uh, normal sound system sits, um, the sub amps are on and powered to um, fight like um, yeah, acoustic problems when they are not switched on. The subwoofers they will um, work as active absorbers, kinda, um, so the amplifiers are switched on so the coils are loaded with power. Um, but as you may can see, it's not enough space to put the second incubus subs under it. So it's like um, like a basset, like a, a short legged incubus. The two other subs are in the middle. Um, so are actually working quite nice to um, fight the power alley. That said, actually, I'm a friend of the power alley, so I don't think it needs to be. Um, I uh, need to be um, taken down or anything, but now it's very, very even. I prefer to have like a power alley, but this is something different. So, um, Incubus Sub is a triple 21 inch, um, Hyper Ford is a quad 15 inch. The 15 inch drivers, one is firing up, one is firing down, one left, one right. So, it's um, four 15 inch pair of Hyper Fold, so it's eight 15 inch kick per side. This one is a um, triple 21 inch. Um, one driver is facing directly us, the other one is going, coming from the side, and the other one is coming from the side. The air ray is quad 12 inch, uh, quad 3 inch, and then we have like uh, six 1 inch drivers. Um, so it's a very um, wide dispersion. Uh, top and so it's worked quite nice in, um, in like a small space and um, yeah I'm quite happy with the, with the outcome of the sound so let's check the amplifiers um, it's quite dark in here um, and I don't have my flashlight with me can you believe it and sound guy without a flashlight um, amplification is uh, 2x8 and 3 Void bias V9. These are like um, pre-batched powers of K20. Then we have like um, a 63 amp 400 volts power supply. And um, then it goes over to the to the sub power supply with uh, 20, 23 ampere. And um, the 16 ampere there is for the monitor system. Monitor system is KV2. Um, from the mixer it goes directly into the RC Audio Levelizer. Um, I honestly can't think of running a system that powerful without a Levelizer anymore. It's, it's just so good. Then for the monitoring, monitoring was fully analog. So it's the um, KV2 SAC2. This is like an analog controller. Um, you have a small 4-band EQ, you have some notch filters crossover and um, the digital delay under it is um, sometimes used by us for cardio setup it's not used in this configuration then we have the amplifier for the tops it's uh, the SL3000 and um, yeah the sub amp the VHD3200 for switching signals uh, or switching mixes um, we have this one the left one is for the master the right one is for um, the monitor um, when we bought the unit these are like um, they're Australian made they don't make any sound switching them uh, switching the mixes 
Um, right now they start to make some noise when you switch it, uh, which is quite bad. So we have to um, think about getting a new solution or maybe a um, new switcher. Then uh, monitoring is one VHD 280J um, per side with an KV2 SL412. Kind of hard for me to say everything in English. It's so used to say it in German. And um, this is a quad 12 inch, 8 inch, and 1.4 inch with a pretty big voice call. Uh, dia diagram. Oh, I really murdered that. You know what I mean. The voice call of a HF driver, which is not a voice call. Anyway. Um, so, uh, Mixer tonight will be, I don't think we were switching mixes, uh, will be like a Rain MP 2015. Uh, CDJs are uh, hooked up to a digital, then uh, two techniques. Um, we have like squash balls under it, first uh, the rubber mats, then squash balls, then a concrete slab. Uh, this works quite nice for, for us. And um, yeah, this is it. Um, we are using this kind of... Um, breakout box for our DJ stuff so you can plug it like a monitor and a master the outputs are sometimes used for um, SPL meters or anything like that um, yeah, we'll run two of them um, back to the amplifiers and switch them then so if it's needed um, yeah something I forgot it's um, we have like a um, headphone amplifier for the output because some DJs uh, don't like the output because it's quite low from the Rain MP 2015 so we use this one it works quite well and nice yeah if you um, have questions or want to make fun of me because I murdered the diagram me thing <laughs> um, yeah just write any comments I uh, happily talk about um, will happily talk about sound systems and stuff and um, really and if you think I um, was telling you something stupid or that something was not right or anything please tell me maybe I could learn something maybe you could learn something maybe we could learn something yes and if you like it just tell me um, I will then do more like uh, set up reviews in English um, it's not that easy for me so um, yeah hopefully you get everything okay bye bye